hi everyone today we are going to discuss about asexual fruiting bodies now the first one of it is pycnidium acervillus polarisium and cinnamata and example for the pycnidium is formopsis and pycnidium it is a globus or flask shaped fruiting body which produces the numerous conidia force on the peridium peridium is a pseudo parenchymatous tissue of the plant and this conidia for produces the conidia and this pycnidium body pycnidial body has a opening called ostiole through which the conidia will be dispersed and acervillus acervillus example for acervillus is colitotrichum and pestilopsis and uh, it is flat shaped or saucer shaped and the somatic matrix of hyphae is there here and it produces the numerous conidia force and this conidia force produces the conidia it may have the conidial scar when the conidia is detached from the conidia force it has a scar and sometimes it is straight and sometimes it is cut due to the detachment of conidia and the continuous growth of conidia force and it produces the numerous seed and next move to the sporodacium sporodacium is a sporodacium it has a central stoma which is the oven tissue oven mass tissue of conidia force and this conidia force produces the conidia and example for it is fusarium fusarium produces the two types of conidia micro conidia and macro conidia which are one is sickle shaped and another one is a fusoid shape and next one is cinemata example for it is graphium and this this conidia four is united at the base and free at the top and produces the conidia and it is look like a feather duster thank you